Hello, I'm Abby Clausen, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age. Plastics are a ubiquitous part of modern life and business, but since the renaissance of the environmental movement, so is the often emotional debate about them. In fact, in some younger demographics, the very word plastic is used as an epithet for that which is phony, morally hollow, or environmentally hurtful. But the plastics industry hopes to improve the public perception of its products with a social media blitz created by APCO Worldwide. The $10 million campaign will heavily target millennials. William Carteau, President and CEO of SPI, the industry trade group, explained the issues and millennial focus at the recent NPE 2009 conference. You know, when you really look at things, you know, the, the whole debate of paper versus plastic, you know, and people saying that paper bags are so much more environmentally friendly than, than plastic, that's absolutely not true. If you look at the facts behind it, plastic is much more favorable. But we're not just advocating that, uh, you know, that you need to be using one material over another. You know, the other type of things that, you know, we're really dealing with today, you know, are the health effects, you know, that people, the perception that people have from a plastics perspective. And if you do the, if you look at the hard science behind it, you know, that's absolutely not the case. And that's one of the great things about the millennial generation from the research we've done. They're a little skeptical. It's a group that uh, really hasn't been exposed to the overall benefits of plastics uh, for, for some time. Uh, it's a very influential group as well. And uh, if you don't believe me, just ask Barack Obama and how he got elected in the fall. And uh, so we believe that this is a great uh, group to get to, especially with new media, because of the viral nature, they can help drive the message about the benefits of plastics. We're looking at launching this in the uh, third quarter of this year. We've spent the last year doing a tremendous amount of research on the millennial uh, uh, audience to see what they're, uh, you know, where, where we need to really plug in from a message perspective. We're uh, in the process of developing uh, a website as the base of operations for what we're doing, but we're really looking at using all of the social media channels from Facebook to MySpace to, uh, to LinkedIn, you know, from, a, from that standpoint, uh, looking at, uh, you know, the, the relevant things like Twitter and, and, uh, and FriendFeed, looking at, um, you know, what's going on with, uh, you know, the blog environment, as well as YouTube and, uh, and Flickr from a, a photo standpoint, and making sure that we're using all of those as we build this overall campaign because people don't understand the overall benefits. The, the medical industry would not be what it is today, and healthcare costs would be exploding even more than what they are without the benefits of plastics. If you look at what's going on with all the alternative energy sources today, from wind to solar to fuel cells, those are all made possible by plastics, and I don't think people look at that. And then uh, with the advances and the, the things that we're trying to do from increasing the fuel efficiency of cars, the reason that it's increased in the last few years is because of plastics, and we're going to be making it possible for automotive manufacturers to hit the new targets that are being posed by the Obama administration. And that's it for this 3-Minute Ad Age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Abby Clausen at Advertising Age in New York.